Hi, welcome to TripleClaim.com. My name is Admin and this is the second part of the game prop creation in Blender. In this part we are going to create a rig for our model. I have created a camera so we can see how this model looks in the game. Uh, we won't need to animate it from all views because this is a 2D side scrolling game. The first thing we need to do is get these panels into their place. They are going to rotate around the same pivot so I am going to align them on top of each other. And then I am going to move them into their place. I forgot to tell you that I had to move some of these vertices a bit back so panels have room to go out and to fit incorrectly. Now that everything's ready, we are going to create the armature and align the bones. I snap the first bone onto the grid by holding the control button. And remember to always name your name your bones and everything in your scene. Now I will duplicate the main bone to create the bone that will move the whole sign. And we need three more bones for these signs. I'm going to make them a bit shorter so they are eas easier to select. These three bones need to be parented to the mover bone and the mover bone needs to be parented to the main bone. I am going to turn off the form for the main bone because it's not going to affect any vertices. We first need to select the mesh and then the armature and by pressing Ctrl P we can easily create an armature deform modifier and empty weight groups. By adding vertices to vertex groups, you are defining uh, what is going to be moved by which bone.
these panels are only going to be rotated on the Y axis. So we will switch the rotation to XYZ Euler and I will lock all the other channels except the Y and we will also lock the translation and scale channels because we don't need them. The last thing we need to do is to create some custom shapes for the bones. Custom shapes make the bones easy to select. When you are aligning the custom shapes with the bones, first of all you align them in the object mode and then when you switch to the edit mode they are going to move together. I have sped up the video because I'm going through the exactly the same process for all the other bones. The last thing I need to do is to align the movers rotation with the signs rotation. Thank you for watching and come back for the third part where I am going to animate this prop.